Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in the blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and the iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. last two episodes were slow compared to this one and that's why I need the flashes again because this time it is massive destruction this time it's hammer versus wine glass So I've got a wine glass and I've got a hammer and you already know who's gonna win, don't you? But you never really see it, right? So let's change that. This time I've got a protective box to protect my office from, you know, like flying debris and, uh, well, lots of destructive forces. If you wanna know how to hammer a nail a very small nail without hitting your pinky. Stay tuned until the end and I will show you. In order to provide safety and tidiness to my studio and myself, I need to do some preparations first. So this acrylic glass cube provides all of that. First, I will cut a little bit out of it. I need to make sure the water gets out of there in a bucket. So let's drill a hole and connect the hose to it. So what is there in the physical environment that we can use to trigger the flashes? Well, you may have guessed that this hammer will create a loud bang. And a loud bang is actually uh, triggerable. So you can trigger the loud bang. But the problem is it's not very accurate. Imagine the hammer falls down and then you hear a loud bang. It could be the hammer just hitting the surface of the glass and the trigger will release the flashes or it could be the hammer you know going through the glass uh, halfway through and then it will trigger the flash so it's not very accurate the best method to trigger is to use a laser trap
once the hammer breaks the beam, it will actually count down the milliseconds of delay you set to it. So let's say 5 milliseconds. Basically it means the hammer will fall through the laser trap and then it will count 5 milliseconds and the hammer will you know, fall down and then after 5 milliseconds it will fire the flashes. So that's very precise. But the question though is will I frame it? Well, let's find out. Not bad so far, let's do a little bit more adjustments here. If you are like me, there's a good chance that your hammering skills look like this. Yep, that's my hammering skills. So now I can show you a method that will not crush your pinky. So if you found that video somehow interesting and you didn't crush your pinky, please like this video and share it with your friends and family. And I will see you in the next episode of the High Speed Challenge. Chris out.